Hi everyone, this is a follow-up video on the previous unboxing video I did of the Tissot PRX 35mm quartz in the light blue dial. I picked this up prior to the Christmas break at a local AD that I was at. He had a 20% off sale on all Tissot watches and he had a number of the PRX models including the 40 millimeters. so I was able to compare the 35 millimeter to the 40 millimeter, the uh, Powermatic 80 versions, the automatic uh, versions of the 40 millimeter, as well with the uh, textured waffle dial. The quartz models have just this sunburst dial like you see here. And uh, the combination of the dial color, the dial size, and the price, obviously. Um, after looking at those, I decided to pick this one up. It was a bit of a impulse buy, I have to say. Had not been planning to, but once I saw them all and, and, and tried them on, um, it was a pretty easy decision to make given the already affordable price of these watches plus the discount. So I have been wearing it a lot since then. I work in an office and was looking for another dress watch to wear on a regular basis to work. And this has fit the bill perfectly. It is a 35 millimeter case size, as I've said. However, because of the case design, it actually wears a little bit larger than you might think a 35 millimeter dress watch would, largely owing to uh, the case shape. As you can see here, it has a pretty good wrist presence um, with this retro sort of styling and this integrated bracelet. The integrated bracelet is incredibly comfortable, incredibly well made, has this nice butterfly clasp here um, that has a really nice feel. It's nice and light and uh, has some nice uh, integration with the light as you turn it, as it takes, uh, as you look at it from different angles. So um, it's just a really enjoyable watch to wear. The quartz movement has been extremely accurate to this point. I believe it is still within five seconds accuracy since I said it uh, when I purchased it. That's pretty spectacular. Um, so uh, it is a quartz obviously if you are exclusively into mechanical watches this may not be for you some have thought that perhaps there is going to be a powermatic 80 version of the 35 millimeter case sized released in the future it's very possible we shall see i suppose um but for me this was a, a really nice choice and i have not regretted buying this at all on my wrist right now i have my SK skx 007 which I recently got back from servicing, which I had to take in because the winding stem had an issue needed to be fixed and replaced. And so I had the whole watch serviced as well and uh, regulated too. And it is now running at plus seven seconds per day, which is incredible for the 7S26 movement. And I uh, have been really enjoying, wear enjoying wearing it again. And the reason I wore this watch during the video is because I thought I would use it as a comparable to the PRX, not in terms of actual watches. These are completely different watches, obviously. This is a tool watch diver, and this is more of a dress watch, but just so people could have some context and get a sense of the size of the watch. Most people are familiar with the 007 um, and know sort of what that means in terms of wrist presence and size. And now you can see it next to a 35 millimeter case in the PRX, which it doesn't look tiny. Um, and again, it's mainly because of the design, I think. The lack of a bezel, which always makes the dial on a smaller watch look larger. Plus these, uh, this integrated bracelet into the case design, um, results in it, 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 you know, looking probably larger than a typical 35 millimeter watch might. So maybe that gives you a bit of a, an idea of what to expect if you're thinking about buying this. And we'll just put this on the wrist. I got a really nice fit with the bracelet. I think I took out just one link, one or two, and uh, here it is. So it sits really well on the wrist, uh, extremely comfortable. As I said, the uh, weight of the watch is incredibly light and uh, yeah, keeps excellent time and it looks good. So if you're looking for a watch in this vein, uh, in this category, the 35 millimeter Tissot PRX in the light blue dial is a winner. Thanks, and we'll see you later.